peace peace family so i'm back with another one today what i wanted to do is i wanted to talk to my chosen ones about trusting the process of your journey when you are taking the proper actions and steps you know what i'm saying what brought me to the subject today was just deep diving you know just going over some other phrases that is used out here a lot and I know a lot of beings like to throw the saying out there, you know, just trust the process and things will happen. Trust the process and things will happen. Well, the thing is with trusting the process so things can happen, the process requires steps. So if you think about processing, think about like computers. When you turn them on, they have to process. When you open the app, it has to process. All these things you're doing, it has to process, meaning that some kind of action has to be taken you have to take some kind of action you have to take some kind of action in order for <clears throat> the process to flow properly so if i was in a space and it was somebody was just telling me like yeah 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 just just follow the process you know just just believe and trust in the process and the flow you know what i'm saying i could believe and trust in the process and the flow right <clears throat> But that statement flows with the same statements as if uh, faith is dead without work or action behind it. You know what I'm saying? So you have to put the footwork in behind it. If it was easy to just trust the process, we wouldn't have people living up here and living down here. And then these people up here is riding past and enjoying their lives above these people right here without any kind of help assistance or guidance you know what i'm saying so <clears throat> when it comes to trusting the process and whatever you're doing you have to make sure that you are applying yourself spiritually and physically because if i want a job right or i want to move <clears throat> i could time spirit time travel to it as much as i would like to right and say oh i really want this job oh i really want to move to this place uh, yeah, just trust the process. I'm just trusting the process. If I'm not taking the actual steps to open the portals so that way I can access those places and spaces, then it won't, it won't be allowed to me. You have to open the doors and process. You have to open the doors and portals and you have to take the steps. You have to take the steps. If you are not taking the steps, then you can just call it quits. So, if, if, all we had to do was trust the process right and put our belief in whatever we believe in you know <clears throat> for me over here it's the natural flow the creator you know so if believing in that helps me <clears throat> walk my way of life out here in this physical realm this 3d realm right my belief system is extremely strong my faith is extremely high everything that's concerning with the spiritual realm is extremely high and it is apparent but if i only just sit on that space inside there and i don't take the steps that's needed out here i'm never gonna get to where i'm trying to go to <clears throat> Now the trick comes to with trusting the process, right? Because I was just talking about one kind of instance. But if you talk about trusting the process, like whether you should stop dealing with your mom or your brother or your, your, you know, your intimate partner or some peers or something. Trusting the process in those kind of situations means you have to follow your intuition and you also have to look at their fruits and y'all engagements and encounters when y'all are in each other's spaces or when y'all are engaging communicating with each other through the third party technology so we all know that certain piece of people come into your lives for seasons and reasons so in order for you to figure out which one they are there for you have to be self-aware and you have to trust the process but you also have to 
make sure you're marking and checking stuff off as you're going through you know so it's, it's kind of like grading the paper you know what i'm saying you just every time you go through you don't want to not mark it because then you might forget or if you skipped around and did some shit you know what i'm saying but you want to just kind of mark it off as you're going so when you trust in the process and you dealing with different beings and not like locations the way i was just talking about before you have to take into account the way scale way scale for me i like to do the way scale i got my good over here i got my bad over here or evil whichever way you want to call it you know what i'm saying i don't really like to call bad evil because we do things sometimes that are not good but it's not evil see evil to me is when things are done with evil or when it's done with ill intentions and harm and inconsiderate of the other beings around or involved in whatever kind of situation it may be you know what i'm saying but when you use the weight scale it's easier to trust the process when you're dealing with beings or certain um job frequencies because i don't really like to use the job location but there are beings at the job location that you have to trust the process and knowing that all right well as long as i ignore them they won't send me no more witchy energy and if they are sending me witchy energy i already got my armor and shields up protecting me so it's just bouncing back off of me right back onto them it's no different than when you are trusting the process of oh whether i should talk to this person or not should i talk to this person the unknown is always gonna have a small percentage of fear it's because it's unknown i don't like to say it's scary but the unknown does have a, a small percentage of fear now depending on how fearful you are depends on how much fear the unknown will carry for you for me I'm a risk taker. I like spontaneousness. I like doing shit on the limb, the whim. You know, I could wake up and just bounce out the next day and drive 10 hours, five hours. Ah, that's, that's me. You know what I'm saying? So me trusting that process, I understand, okay, my fear for the unknown is only like 5% or less. You know, some people fear of the unknown is 50%. A lot of people fear of the unknown is 70 to 80%. That's why they have to have in car insurance, house insurance, health insurance. Like, I'm insured spiritually, so <laughs> while these motherfuckers is putting out all these finances, because they didn't trust the process of the spiritual realm, I did. So even though I don't have their kind of finances, I don't have to put out their same kind of finances as well, too, because I live by different means. And that's when it comes down to just understanding, like, use your way skills. When you're processing beings and places and you're trying to figure out, all right, well, how do I want to maneuver around in this space? Or this energy is really confusing and I got to figure this shit out. Or, hey, should I open this door over here? You know what I'm saying? Put all of that on these scales over here. So that way you can understand if you are actually trusting the process or not. Or if you're just going along with the flow. You know, some people just go along and they don't. It's not that they trust the process. It's just that they're so used to just going along with, yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay, I can do it. I can do it. Or yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. You know, trusting the process isn't the same thing as just saying yes to everything. That's not the same thing as saying yes to everything. You don't have to say yes to everything to trust the process. I do things with beings and other entities. I trust my process. Right now, I can say I trust my process spiritually as far as staying consistent with putting this knowledge and information out, staying consistent in my daddy duties, staying consistent into each one teach one around me, staying consistent in making sure I'm vibrating as high as I can, making sure I'm staying consistent in being self-aware as much as I possibly can. Your self-awareness will become your superpower. The more you are self-aware, the more you will be able to do and manage almost anything. You know, so you don't even have to put as much pressure on keeping your chakras aligned because you're self-aware. Before your chakras could get unaligned, you already done caught the issue. So mm, 
you can already start adjusting before it even starts getting the quote unquote butterflies in your stomach, which we know that's just your, you know, your stomach chakra, your solar plexus chakra just doing this thing because you're a little scrambled inside. So if you can get your energy scrambled inside and it creates that vortex, that energy space in your stomach, don't you understand it creates the same thing up here? So what you are calling a headache is really just a bunch of confusion and chaos in your spiritual realm. And you are probably also dehydrated and drained. It's a couple of things that go together with that. But trust in the process, you know what I'm saying? It don't matter what the fuck we go through, how many times they try to knock us off course, you know what I'm saying? Knock us to the side, knock us down, dig us in the ground. Like, we trust our process. And I know for the other beings out here that's like me, we trust our process. But some of these lessons is for the other ones that aren't really aware of how to go about trusting their process, you know what I'm saying? Because it took a while for me to get to a place to trust my process, you know? When you grow up in a household, you're used to your mom being against you, your siblings being against you, your stepdad being against you, your sperm donor not being around, you know, just when you deal with all of these things, you almost do not want to trust your process because for the bulk of your life, you're almost feeling like you're the fucking problem because you're not meshing with the rest of your family and society you are over here standing out like a sore thumb while the rest of them are like this you know what i'm saying but i ain't want to run it up too long you know what i'm saying just make sure we doing what we got to do to trust the process you know what i'm saying trust in your process you know what i'm saying but make sure you also taking the steps as well because it will not happen or come to your fruition foresight you will not manifest it if you are not taking the proper steps, you know what I'm saying? Use your spiritual weight scales. We have weight scales out here in the physical world for a reason. Use your spiritual weight scales, you know what I'm saying? Tapping everything down below. Peace and love to the kings and queens.